MME direct sound or Wasapi. Setting up a mic to record properly in Windows can be a bit confusing. So we're going to take a look at doing just that in this edition of Stuart's Audacity Tips. I'm delighted to know that some of you have gotten benefit from our arrangement with the great folks at Positron. The offer is still open. You can process seven hours of finished audio for free when you use www.stuartgofie.com slash get dash positron to check out their brilliant audiobook proofing tool. Here's a quick tip. It's great for long form narration of any kind, not just audiobooks. As always, you're welcome to share this with a friend. For those who are working on Windows machines, the question often comes up, which should I use? MME, direct sound, or Wasapi? First, let's talk about what those things are. Audacity shows these choices in the audio host selection box at the left end of the device toolbar. Mac users don't have these options. Core audio is the only thing available on a Mac. MME, Direct Sound, and Wasapi are all sound subsystems on Windows. MME is the oldest of the three, having first appeared with Windows 3.1 in the early 90s. Direct Sound and Wasapi were later developments, allowing audio software to talk directly to audio devices like mics without having the computer's sound hardware in the middle. This means latency is reduced, which is always a good thing. So which one should you use? The somewhat snide short answer is whichever one works. But let me explain. Any of these sound systems will result in the same data being recorded by your hardware, assuming you're using a good DAC or interface. There are a couple of USB mics that satisfy this requirement, but this column isn't about selecting hardware, other than to say you should never use a mic that plugs into a laptop or desktop's microphone jack, especially a laptop. Laptops are not designed to support professional audio recording, and any mic that plugs directly into a computer mic jack isn't up to the job either. So, with that out of the way, here's what I suggest for selecting the audio host. Start with Wasapi. If your device shows up in the recording device select box, stick with Wasapi. If that doesn't work, try direct sound. MME should be your last resort, but if it works, use it. MME is more susceptible than the others to latency problems like dropouts. So you might have to make other adjustments to compensate. See previous editions of Stuart's Audacity Tips that talk about dropouts and adjustments to prevent them. Hope this helps. I'm Stuart.